Hello everyone, Oli the repair dude is here again. In this video, I'm going to show how to bypass iPhone passcode and fMRI on using Brute Remedies. As you can see, this iPhone 6 Plus is fMRI on and there's a passcode screen as you can see. And USB accessory protection is enabled. The first thing to do is download Brute Remedies Pro and WinRain 2.1. And please disable any antivirus protection on your computer as Brute Remedies is a false positive. Not to worry, this is not a virus. After downloading both of them, open Brute Remedies Pro and the uh, Brute Remedies Pro EXE. Allow it to connect the server and give the pop-up dialog. Click OK. Allow it to connect the server, you get this. As you can see, this iPhone 6 Plus has FMI on and passcode lock and you get this accessory. You have to put this device on recovery mode. Press and hold full home and power button to shut down the iPhone. Then after which, let go the power button. And slightly let go the home button. When the Apple logo come up, let's quickly press the and hold the home button. Hopefully it gets to recovery mode. It might not work for the first attempt, so try a f try it a few times till till you get to recovery mode. As you can see, it doesn't go to recovery recovery mode for the first time. So I try the second time pressing and holding the home and power button again. Then pressing and holding the home button. Now the device is on recovery mode. You can close the iTunes dialog. If your ECID status is not registered, click the ECID to register by copying the link. I mean the ECID. Then go to this registration break. Paste your ECID here, then click register. If you get, if you get this, that means your ECID is registered successfully. After which, find out your iPhone device type and iOS version. Click detect iOS version to see what iOS is, is on. For my iPhone, it's iOS 12.x. My device type is 7.1-N56AP. After you get this, take note of that. You need to download the RAM disk. Go to links for the RAM disk. Click on RAM disk. For me, it's iOS 12, so go this, then I will cross-reference with the Brook Ram this, it's 7-1, iPhone, find iPhone 7 1 for this, click this to download, then download the RAM disk, close all pop-ups, wait for it to download, this will take quite a while, so please be very patient, depending on your internet connection speed. This will take quite some time. Once they done, go to lib boot on the boot M D S directory. Then after that, open your ram disk download directory. You have to move your ram disk file here. Once you're done, you can go back to the main directory of boot ram disk. And run WinWin 2.1 to put this device on pawn DFU mode. Click on checkmate. Make sure it's on checkmate. Click next. Click start and follow the instruction to put your device on pawn DFU mode. Follow the device instructions. You can close iTunes if you need to. Once you get all done, you can, you can click quit. Then go back to program this. If you get stuck at connecting to iDevice, you can always click fix drivers. Once you're done, click OK. Close iTunes if needed to. 
then click options passcode bypass ram disk then click back click start then boot i device to start if you get this select the ios version remember the ios version we just checked click ios 12.x if it's ios 12.x click boot i device allow it to boot this will take quite some time close items if needed to you get different color flashes and some line of codes coming out from the iPhone this will take quite some time just be very patient If you get this, that means your iPhone is booted to SSH mode successfully. Click OK and click Next. Click Backup iDevice. Keep the save account tick. It's very handy to check the original owner's email. You can do whatever with the email. I don't care. Click Backup iDevice to backup the activation file and the original account holders email once you get backup done it should op automatically open this thing and click ok for the activation files have been saved successfully open the folder you may sure have one two three four and fair play folder go it control make sure one file which is most important the ic-info.sisv file is important make sure this have it very important this iCloud info .tech is the original owner iCloud info. Has I previously done the, the bypass on this phone, I no longer had the original owner's email address. Click close the link, I mean the folder, then click erase iDevice to erase the iDevice. You get this warning, click yes to erase. Then you get iDevice has been raised, rebooting. Click done. I will show you this iPhone is activation locked. Just wait for the erase process to complete first. While waiting, I can open 3 to show you that the iPhone has been activation locked. Now it's connecting to iDevice as the device load up. This will take some time. I can show you this is activation locked. Activate. I'll show you this is activation lock. I'll run the activation process using 3 tools. So I don't have to waste time connecting to Wi-Fi for the purpose. See, this is activation locked. As you can see, it's activation locked. I'll just let it boot up to the hello screen. <coughs> this device has activation lock. I can't activate the iPhone without the activation files back up. We'll be restoring the activation files we backed up previously later to get around with this. I'll just let it load to the hello screen.
and it will boot up to the hello screen after this loading bar is gone. Once at the hello screen, you can go to options, passcode bypass, ram this again, back, start, next, to put in the recovery mode. This time, you don't have to do the key combos to get to the recovery mode. Close items if needed. Click start. Press and hold both the home and power together. Let go of power and then press the home button until we get the DFU mode. Once you get this, open win rate again. Click yes for the UAC. Go check mate. Click next. Let it load drivers and do whatever it needs to get to pond DFU mode again. Once it's all done, click quit. Then click boot iDevice on program disk. If you get this, just select the iOS version again. Click boot RAM disk. If you get this, click OK. Go to back, click Pix driver. Just click OK once you get detected. Go to options, passcode bypass to check. Then click start again. Select iOS 12 if your device is really on iOS 12. Otherwise, select the iOS version you just take note of. Click boot iDevice. Let it, let, it, let it boot. You can close iTunes while doing so. The same effect will happen again, so please be patient. Once you get this, click OK, click Next, click Activate iDevice. This will restore all the activation files to the iPhone. This will take some time, so please be patient. Don't forget to put Skip Setup to like bypass the setup process so that you just reach the home screen. If you get, do you want to block OTA update and reset? This is up to you. For me, I'll be clicking No. If you really want to block OTA update and reset, you can click Yes. For me, I'll click No. This is up to you. Once get iDevice has been successfully activated, click OK. Allow the device to go to the home screen. If you click skip setup, otherwise you have to do the setup yourself. I can show you the course work on this iPhone. Has I back up and restore the activation tickets back to the iPhone. We shall get around the setup screen. Now the iPhone is the home screen and no longer on the setup screen. I press home to open. I'll insert a SIM card to test the call functions. I'll take out the SIM tray and insert my SIM cards. I'm inserting my Heya SIM card, which is some Singaporean telco. Wait, I show you the signal. This iPhone no service. I will just turn and off airplane mode to get the signal. Let it search. Let it search. Sorry if the it's blur because I'm using a webcam to instead of a normal camera. Searching. Searching. Now I got a Heya 4G signal. This is the I got signal already. It's Heya 4G. I'll make a call to test. One one six three three. The call field, but I'll try again. I can show you the call works. I'll call to the customer service of the telco. Hello, good afternoon. 
here this is working as can see calls are working on the phone as can see as can see the bypass works with calls as long as the device has not been bypassed before that's all for this video i hope to see you again in the next video please like share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel i hope everyone have a positive ahead and peace out